Hi everyone, today I will be watching Reservoir Dogs. So I was super in the mood for a crime movie, which is my favorite genre, so it's always something that I'm looking for. And of course I ended up with Quentin Tarantino, and I've always had this difficult time getting into his movies because I'm really afraid of gory stuff, of like shocking stuff. Like I like the crime, but it doesn't need to be like in my face, you know? But then also I have to admit that the movies that I have watched of him I've loved and many of them actually stick into my mind or I think about afterwards. So in a sense I'm like, okay Mary, it might be better to just get over it, see if this is a gory one or not. Maybe it's not, you know, maybe it's fine. <laughs> and enjoy an amazing movie because the score is super high on IMDb and I love crime thriller, so I think I'm gonna have a good time. Maybe I'm gonna be shocked for a few minutes here and there, but hopefully I will survive. <laughs> so fingers crossed for me. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you do, make sure to like, subscribe. Full reactions you can always find over on Patreon. On Patreon, I'll also put on polls where you can vote for next reactions, some exclusive movie reactions, some Better Girl Soul reactions that are only available on there. So make sure to check that out if you want to, and let's get going. <laughs> Like a virgin is not about some sensitive girl who meets a nice fella. That's what True Blue is about. No, granted, no argument about that. Also, this movie came out the year I was born, so I think that's pretty cool. It's all about this Coos, who's a regular f Now I'm talking morning, day, night, afternoon. Dick, 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 dick. So one day, she meets this John Holmes, and it's like, whoa, baby. I'm Look to the editors with this one. Thank you. <laughs> Profanity, check. You see, the pain is reminding the machine what it was once like to be a virgin. Interesting analysis. I'll take care of the check. You guys can get the tip. Come on, throw in a buck. Uh-uh, I don't tip. What? What? Scandalous! Don't give me that. She don't make enough money, she can quit. I don't even know if you'd have the ball to say that. I don't tip because society says I have to. Tipping is such a thing that in certain countries makes sense and in others doesn't. Well, you know, what if she's busy? Words too busy shouldn't be in a waitress's vocabulary. Damn, this guy is like, whew. I wasn't lucky enough to have a job that society deemed tip worthy. You don't care they'd count on your tips to live? I had it bad, so you're gonna have it bad. That's a very positive, constructive way to see the world. What do you mean you don't tip? They don't believe in it. Shut up. I paid for your goddamn breakfast. All right, since you pay for the breakfast, I'll put in. But no yeah, and in a sense, it's really mean. Like, you get your meal for free and you still don't want to tip. Like, what the hell, man? Look at them, coolios. I cannot believe that he plays in his own movie. <laughs> Must that be weird for the actors, knowing that you're basically working with the guy who decides every single step you're gonna take? Whoa! You're hurt, you're hurt real bad. But you ain't dying! Yeah, scared the shit out of me as well, damn it. Now say it! You're gonna be okay! Die. Calm down, like how is this gonna help? Okay. He looks not okay. Come on, who's a tough guy? <laughs> Trying to you. Get his spirits up. Man, I can't even. Like, why are we not going to a hospital? Oh, I assume it's quite criminal. Okay. What are we waiting for? Can he not do anything like close the wound or something? Press so it stops bleeding? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would you look at them? I was panicking for a minute back there. He's dying, isn't he? I can't take you to a hospital. Damn, man! Drive me up to the front, man. Isn't it better to go to the hospital and take the risk of going to jail? I won't tell him anything, man. I won't tell him anything. Wow, you really need to decide to do I trust this guy and save his life or not? Shit. Orange got tagged. Gotcha. Where's uh, Brown? Dead. Oh. Somebody f 
That's a big time, man. Why are we not helping him? Is I don't think we got set up. I know we got set up. I mean, really, seriously, where did all those cops come from, huh? The alarm went off, okay? When an alarm goes off, you got an average of four minutes response time. Unless a patrol car is cruising that street at that particular moment, you got four minutes before they can realistically respond. Oh. Wait, so one of them? What is that? Something else about this place. They got the cops here waiting for us, man. They could be cops coming here right now. That's true, though. If the first part is true, then the second part is probably true as well. Why am I hoping for them that the cops won't show up? Why? <laughs> so weird. I should be like, yeah, let's go, cops, get him. <laughs> so the question is, would Larry be the one ready them out? Or the dying one? Or is the one still missing? Because once you know that one of you is not trustworthy, it's like this paranoia thing of like, who? Who? <laughs> Could be the person you're talking to right then. Turn around and all these cops are outside. You're right, brother. Damn, I blink my eyes and they're there. The cops did not show up after the alarm went off. Right? The cops didn't show up until after Mr. Blonde started shooting everybody. No, for this Mr. Larry's White. Mr. Don't White. Me, man. Don't, don't tell me your fucking name, man. I don't want to know it. Jesus Christ, I ain't going to tell you mine. Oh. How did you get out? I shot my way out. Everybody started shooting, so I blasted my way out of there. Now he's like, could be you. The scream in the background. <gasps> okay. Damn, for running very fast, they're actually very far behind. Woo! The way I assume that if you read everybody out to the cops, you're not gonna start shooting them. Man, could you believe Mr. Blonde? That was the most insane thing I've ever seen. What if would you hire a guy like that? Can't work with a guy like that. Meanwhile, in the next room, someone's dying. After that, I don't know what went down. Oh, at that point, it was every man for himself, man. This is so interesting. I don't think it's possible one of them got a hold of diamonds and... No, no way. I got the diamonds. Oh! At least he's... Honest about it? That's my boy. Give me the diamonds. Look, if you want to come with me, let's go get him right now. Right this second, man. Because I think, uh, staying here, man, we should have our fucking heads examined. I mean, they could both be dead or maybe they're arrested. The cops could have them right, right now at the station house, sweating them down. Yeah, they don't know our names, but they could be singing about this place. I kind of agree with him. So who's the rat this time? Just the blue? I love this. This is like a whodunit. In the criminal world. I know what I did or I didn't do, but I cannot definitely say that about anybody else because I don't definitely know. For all I know, you're the rat. Like, if it was Joe, isn't it weird that he would set a whole thing up? Like, if you are the cops, you wouldn't want a full on mission being set up like this. Okay, somebody's a rat. Damn, if he's a rat, he plays it very well. Larry's background. Joe, the telegram. Five man job, two minutes tops. But it's a tough two minutes. Daylight during business hours, dealing with the crowd. Damn, like. In Belgium, we had a time where a lot of diamond stores got burglared. I'm out of here, man. I'm gonna check into a motel for a few days. Is he dead or what? He ain't dead. Get the f shit on me, man. I thought he was dead for sure. Tell medical attention, he will die for sure. Oh, man, can we really not bring him to a hospital? Like, just drop him off at the, at the front? Assuming we can trust Joe, how are we gonna get in touch with him? He's supposed to be here, but he ain't, which is making me very nervous about being here. He planned a robbery and he's got a bloodbath on his hands now. He's got dead cops, dead robbers, dead civilians. I mean, if I was him, I'd try to put as much distance between me and this, and this mess as humanly possible. Yeah, that is also a good idea. I don't like the idea of turning him over to the cops. If we don't, he's gonna die. He begged me to do it. All right, then I guess we take him to a hospital. I mean, if that's what he said, let's do it. Yes. Well, he knows a little about me. Oh, God. You basically shot your own foot right now. I told him my first name and where I was from. Why? <laughs> I told him where I was from a few days ago. It was just a natural conversation. But also, would you rat someone out who actually brought you to the hospital? I would feel loyalty towards him. It was my fault he got shot. Unless he gets a better deal. If he rats him out. 
If this conversation goes on much longer, he actually is just gonna die, right? <laughs> what the f was I supposed to do? Well, maybe I should have, but I couldn't. I'm you and f you. I'm sure it was a very beautiful scene between you. <sighs> I'm very sad about that, but some fellas are lucky and some ain't. Touch me for him, man. I kind of don't think he's a rat if you wouldn't even get someone to the hospital. Like, if you're an, an actual cop. I'll show you who you you wanna shoot me, you little piece of shit? Go ahead, take a shot. You white, you acting like a first year fucking thief. I'm acting like a professional. You looking at me like it's my fault? I didn't tell him my name, I didn't tell him where I was from. You probably there stuck in a situation you created. So if you wanna throw bad looks somewhere, throw them at a mirror. Oh. It's the blood. So we're only missing Mr. Blue right now. You reckon that Tar uh, Tarantino was brown, so he was in just one scene? Look, brown is dead. Orange got it in the belly. He's Enough! Alive. Enough! You better start talking, asshole. We need you acting freaky like we need a fucking bag on our hip. Okay, let's talk. We think we got a rat in the house. He's just too cool for this. This place just ain't security anymore. We're leaving. You should go with us. Nobody's going anywhere. Piss on this turd. We're out of here. Don't take another step, Mr. White. You maniac! Oh, calm down. Your f Everybody stands. What the fuck are you talking about? That shooting spree! I don't fault them. They set off the alarm. They deserve what they got. <laughs> Asshole! How did he get like this drink? <laughs> are you gonna bark all day, little doggy? Or are you gonna bite? And that guy would set me off. Are you gonna bark all day, little doggy? Or are you gonna bite? You assholes, calm the f down. Hey, come on, let go. What are we on a playground here, huh? Am I the only professional? <laughs> Weirdly enough, he seems like it. Oh, size, man, what we need here is a little solidarity. Somebody's sticking a red hot poker up our ass. I wanna know whose name's on the handle. This blonde guy gives me such Elvis Presley vibes. <laughs> I got something outside that, uh, like to show you guys so follow me damn i wouldn't be into surprises right now especially because you know he doesn't have the diamonds so meanwhile or he's still bleeding out <laughs> jesus christ maybe a boy in blue here can answer some of these questions about this rat business you've been talking about what he kidnapped an officer Hey, Sid, will you relax? I know you a long time. I'm not worried. I know you're paying. Oh my god, I'm in love with this movie! Hey, welcome home, Vic. I want you to know I appreciate all the packages you sent me on the inside. What the hell was I supposed to do? Forget about you. I feel like Joey is very good at his PR management. How you doing, too, Vic? Hey, Eddie. Ah. Oh, this is nice, guy, Eddie. Better dressed than before. <laughs> very true. <laughs> Oh my god, what? Is this like the equivalent of a, a bro fist but build up for four years? <laughs> you come back to work for us, man. Well, I wanna. I can't come back to work for you guys if I gotta worry about uh, making some silly ass 10 o'clock curfew every fucking night. I'll get you down to Long Beach as a dock worker. I don't wanna listen to fucking crates, Eddie. Hey, you ain't gonna lift shit. You don't even work there. But as far as the records are concerned, you do. Oh. Oh. You get a time card. It's clocked in and out for you every day. And at the end of the week, you get a nice paycheck. Damn, these guys have it set up. <sighs> Look, we're just getting ready for a big meeting right now in Vegas. Just let Eddie for now set you up at Long Beach. His job, give you some cash. Is he have a double eyebrow? I know you don't like using the boys on these jobs. But Vic here... <laughs> I mean, he's only been nothing but good luck for us. Didn't he just do prison time for four years? <laughs> How would you feel about pulling a job with about five other guys? I'd feel great about it. Oh man, you literally get out and immediately you're doing this shit again. Ugh. Like, at least try a regular life. If you can't get enough of the YouTube content, there's some amazing exclusives on Patreon you can find today. If you can't get enough of Halloween, I will be uploading some scary stuff during November on there, like Invasion of the Body Snatchers, and I will also upload the full show of Midnight Mass. 
Other things that you can find over on Patreon are some shows like Better Call Saul, The Last of Us, Miss Marvel, Book of Boba Fett. I'll be doing Mandalorian soon as well. And you can find some movies that sometimes cannot make it to YouTube because of copyright claims, but also some exclusives. For example, Zodiac, Top Gun Maverick, Three Kings, Spirit Away, Speed, School of Rock, Police Academy, Looper, LA Confidential, Fiddler on the Roof, everything, everywhere, all at once. I don't have breath for this. Cloud Atlas, The Big Short, Argo, and so forth. So if you want to check out more content, go over to Patreon. It supports me a lot. It supports my family a lot. And it helps me able to work with editors to keep this channel going. So thank you for considering joining over there. And let's go back to the movie. Hey, Dobbs, we got a major situation here. Where do I recognize him from? There's a few actors here that I really recognize. But since they're so much younger than what I'm used to, it's hard... All I know is what Vic told me, man. He said the place turned into a fucking bullet fest. He's driving around with a cop in his trunk. And he's already having fun with it. Oh God, like. So really bad for that cop. Hey, nice guy. We got a cop. Cops were there waiting for us. What? Nobody set anybody up. Hey, fuck you, man. You weren't there. We weren't. I'm telling you, the cops had that store staked out. Who did it? What the hell do you think we've been asking each other? The assholes turned the jewelry store. Don't, don't you call me an asshole. asshole. You idiot. Yeah, let's fall over that. Questions of my own. You ain't dying. He is. All right, Mr. Compassion. <laughs> I'll call a doctor. I'll fix him right up. I'll do that right now. Maybe he could tell us who the fuck set us up. If you beat this prick long enough, he'll tell you you started the goddamn Chicago fire. Now that don't necessarily make it fucking so. It's true. Just gonna say anything you want to hear to get out. I told them not to touch the fucking alarm. They did. If they hadn't done what I told them not to do, they'd still be alive. Oh, oh God, they're so like, uh, running each other's gears. Don't get too many sees all these cars parked outside. I swear to you, he's gonna be just as mad at me as he is at you. Maybe you shouldn't trust Pink at all. Alone at last. <gasps> no. I've been on the force for only eight months. They don't tell me anything. Nobody tells me shit. You can torture me all you want. Torture you? That's a good. That's a good idea. I like that one. No. I don't really give a good fuck what you know or don't know, but I'm gonna torture you anyway. I have to get information. What? This is so sick. It's amusing uh, to me to torture a cop. Pray for a quick death, which you ain't gonna get. Okay, until now I was fine with the movie, but I'm not really into torture. <laughs> I was just messing with him and it's just power play, but psychological. Terror. Oh my god, isn't that the intro music from Frankie and Grace or something? The night. I'm feeling just something right. Okay. Okay, at least we don't need to watch. Thank you, Tarantino. Jokers to the right, here I am stuck in the middle with you. Fuck. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> this guy has some darkness in himself, right? That you enjoy doing this? I'm a bit sick. <laughs> well, no, he's sick. I'm feeling sick. See, like I don't like my husband's music choice, but at least he's not a psychopathic killer. <laughs> that must hurt so much. Please, don't, don't burn me, please. I also feel like being burned alive is quite a hurtful way to die. That was unexpected. Listen to me more than Nash. I'm a cop. What? Yeah, your name's Freddy something. 
pretty moon but and he didn't say it how do I look imagine being brought in and then you see that the cop who's the supposed to be on your side is bleeding out this is real right he's act like it's not a, a <laughs> fucking bastard Ugh. I don't even know how he's not fainted yet from that ear thing. This cop's waiting to move the block away. The fuck are they waiting for? Uh, this fucking guy slashes my face. You! I'm fucking dying here! I'm fucking dying! Yeah, true. Both bad. Him worse. He wins this round and he also just saved your life. Wow. Wow, I am speechless. Go through the mugs of all the guys from Old Milwaukee with a history of armed robbery. Put a name to the face. How was Long Beach Mike's referral? Perfect. And Mr. White is also the one that told his name, right? Look, man, undercover cops got to be Marlon Brando, right? Hmm. To do this job, you got to be a great actor. You got to be naturalistic. You gotta Godfather. Because if you ain't a great actor, you're a bad actor. And bad acting is bullshit this job. If you memorize what's important, the rest you make your own, all right? You can tell a joke, can't you? No. Nah. I wasn't gonna be Joe the pop man anymore, but I would take a little bit to sell it to my close, close, close friends. Now she doesn't want to walk around alone with all that weed. I'm going to a boys' room. Four Los Angeles County sheriffs and a German shepherd. <laughs> German shepherd starts barking. Barking at me. I mean, he's Imagine having like a, a dog that can smell drugs, and then a dealer just walks in, and you're like, "Happy Christmas." <laughs> I'm just standing there drenched in panic and all these sheriffs looking at me. They can smell it on me. So, so anyway, I got my gun drawn, right? I'm gonna fucking blow you away right now. Put your hands on the dash. What was he going for? This fucking registration. Ha! Yeah, what a loser. It's kind of cool if you think about it that Tarantino makes these movies, but he also references so many other movies. In his movies? You're not gonna get hurt. You're fucking Beretta. They believe every fucking word. You're super cool. Kind of really homes that he makes it. Oh, they're actually looking into him. Oh my god. <laughs> na na na, good feeling. I feel like I've seen that in an animated movie? What a white bitch will put up with, a black bitch wouldn't put up with for a minute, man. If this is such a truism, why is it that every I know treats his woman like a piece of shit? I'll make you a bet that those same damn who are showing their ass in public, when their bitches get them home, man, they God, the level of editing this one is going to need for the language. <laughs> if you put some wacko glue on his dick and glues his dick to his belly. Ah. I stick my weenie in a bottle and now I can't get it out. <laughs> We're going to be using aliases on this job. All I want you guys to talk about, if you have to, is what you're going to do. That makes it a lot easier to infiltrate, no? Because nobody can ask you questions and you don't need to get to know anything. Mr. Brown. Although you're going to try. White. Mr. Blunt. Oh, Tarantino died. Mr. Pink. Why am I Mr. Pink? Because you're a... F all right. <laughs> wow, wow. Mr. Pink sounds like Mr. Pussy. How about if I'm Mr. Purple? <laughs> what? Some guy on some other job is Mr. Purple. You're Mr. Pink. Who cares what your name is? Yeah, indeed. What happens if the manager won't give you the diamonds? When you're dealing with a store like this, they're insured up the ass. So they're going to give the diamonds. <laughs> God, he's already out. You're not blind. You just got blood in your eyes, all right? No, you don't understand. I'm blind. Is he dead? Did he die or not? Let's go. How did he die from this? What? Get a fucking car! Oh my God! You're hurt. You're hurt real fucking bad. But you ain't dying.
I'm quite surprised at the fact that he shot back. It's like what a stupid way to like they do a robbery and then he gets shot like that. Not even during the robbery, like what sad. What the fuck happened? Slash the cop's face, cut off his ear, was gonna burn him alive. It's not He went crazy, something like that. Worse or better? What the hell? That sick piece of shit was a stone cold psycho. I don't buy it. Doesn't make sense. Wow, Eddie, not so stupid, eh? You're saying that Mr. Blonde was gonna kill you, and then when we got back, he was gonna kill us. I swear on my mother's eternal soul, is what happened. The man you just killed just got released from prison. He got caught at a company warehouse full of hot items. He could have fucking walked. All he had to do was say my dad's name, but he didn't. He kept his fucking mouth shut. Ooh. Trust. You're telling me that this very good friend of mine. You're telling me that now that this man is free, he's just gonna decide out of the fucking blue to rip us off? Why don't you tell me what really happened? <laughs> You'd just be more bullshit. Uh oh. That lump of shit's working with the LAPD. How much blood is there? How much can you lose before you faint? He's a good kid. It's so bad because. I understand you're hot. You're super fucking pissed. They're right though. The cocksucker tipped off the cops, and a Mr. Brown and Mr. Blue killed. Blue's dead. I ignored it before, but no more. Oh no! Why is gonna think that they set them up? You're making a terrible mistake. I'm not gonna let you make. Come on, guys. He's dead anyway, if you think about it. We're supposed to be fucking professional. I would make it trouble now. Hey, look. Like, look at him. We have been friends. And you respect my dad and I respect you, but I will put fucking bullets right through your heart. You don't make me do this. Who does Mr. Right White you? think that is, is the dad. rat? Well then. This is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and now Mr. Pink shoots Mr. Orange and then commits suicide. The end. <laughs> or just runs, you know. Mm. With the diamonds. <laughs> no way! <laughs> He's the only professional. Weren't the cops all gonna come run in when Joe arrived? Where are they? Oh, back to our two buddies. Don't answer. Not me because I'm a cop. No, don't say it, you fool. He's gonna break your neck. You better die right now because he's gonna kill you. Why would you say that? Like, come on, you've been there dying for hours. Bomb. <laughs> They're all dead, right? <laughs> Except for Mr. Pink. Oh, the coconut song. Lime in the coconut and drink it all up. Lime in the coconut. <laughs> what a movie! Okay, I absolutely loved this movie. I feel like it was what I wanted in terms of crime. You also have the aspect of like who done it, but then not who done it, but who's the cop so much great dialogue so much great acting like the crazy part is that you don't even see the heist really you're just listening to people describing this event and from all their perspectives what they know versus what we know and then what we learn and it's so interesting so well done honestly i love the reveal that mr orange was the cop and what was interesting about it as well is I feel like he's the undercover cop and he should be the good guy. But then in the end, we also see him killing a lady who was trying to 
defend herself from her car being stolen and that shocker in his face of like what did i do and we're looking at all these criminals but he also let's assume that she died or not but like he also shot a civilian for no reason and then you have mr white who's like a criminal but also so trusting that he actually would sacrifice himself to defend who he trusts which in my mind doesn't make sense in this context whatsoever because then he had to ask the question of like who is the actual undercover cop and after eddie's story i would also believe that it wasn't mr blonde because he was so loyal so why would he suddenly shift but damn it's so interesting to see these characters because on one side you see mr blonde being this total social path or a psychopath but then also being the loyal one weird anyway the whole thing that's just mr pink is like the asshole from the beginning the professional one all the time and in the end well they can't kill him right because he knows where the diamonds are i don't know in the end like if he had told the others he makes it out <laughs> i feel bad for for um the the cop marvin i feel bad for him but yeah i am glad that it was not really violent right so you had the crazy scene with the ear but they didn't show it so i'm like okay from what i expect from tarantino i feel like this was fairly mild in violence wise or i'm just gonna be used to it i don't think so i think this was a great movie and you kind of want to watch it again just for the dialogue and how he's able to build tension around an event that we haven't even seen happening if you think about it they just were in the room from joe they were just in the warehouse and then you had some outside scenes so if you think about it it's quite simple but that just means that the narration the storytelling is so well done the character building is so nice you have a few people only where the movie focuses on and it's just oh i love this type of movie where it's not just about oh bang 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 and all of that glitter and glamour but actually just conversations that keep you hooked and you're so focused and want to hear every sentence and analyze it and think about it think along with the characters think along as a viewer amazing i love this one let me know in the comments if you liked it as well if there's other tarantino movies that you want me to watch let me know because i do know that there's quite a few that i still need to react to and so far i've loved many of them so i'm very curious to discover the other ones if you like this movie make sure to like and subscribe also if you want to see the full reaction those i always post on patreon for you to enjoy together with me patreon helps me to work with editors so i can keep uploading right now because life is busy <laughs> so thank you if you consider joining over there you can find full link reactions polls exclusive movie reactions all on patreon thank you so much for being here today and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye <laughs>